The shoplifting will continue until prices improve. Imagine working here. HTTPS. NYPostcom, the 24th of April 2023, San Francisco Target puts entire inventory on lockdown amid shoplifting crisis. Vicious cycle. Core raise prices to increase profits. Shoplifting increases as inflation increases. Core raise prices to recoup losses from shrinkage. Retailers install anti-theft barriers. Retailers lower wages and execute layoffs to cover cost of anti-theft barriers. Low wages and unemployment increase theft. So, someone has to go around with you while you shop? Or you're not even allowed in the store? Isn't this what all the personal shoppers are for? Interesting. That's one of the most dystopian things I've seen in quite a while. I imagine we will see the days of, window shopping, disappear. I think most stores will just have everything be order online and pick up only. Or they'll just have tags you take to a front counter and they ring those up and pick up your items. Over there. Another one would be everything like a vending machine. Pay and then the item comes out. All this will do is stop the people that have money from going into that store. Could you imagine going in to quickly pick up some items and having to wait for a salesperson to follow you around unlocking each cabinet one at a time? Certainly would annoy most people after a while. My biggest shock is locking of baby formula. So sad families have to shoplift basic basic items that keep their babies alive. If we are going to force women into having unwanted pregnancies, there should be subsidizing of formula and daycare. I recently went to CVS to buy Zyrtec for allergies and it was locked up behind glass. I've never seen allergy medication locked up like that before. WTF is wrong with society? Oh wait, they don't pay us enough to survive. That's the problem. Corporate America. We lost $20,000 to shoplifting last year. So now we are going to spend $500,000 on security to stop losing so much. Great job. Executive bonuses. Pay for it by raising prices. I didn't see a goddamn thing. I imagine future retail sales in store being like a fast food restaurant with an Amazon-like ordering app at the checkout counter. You order and pay. Then they have someone pull your order. Shoplifting will continue no matter what. My personal favorite thing about places with self-checkout is how I now get an employee discount. If people are stealing necessities like toothpaste, body soap, OTC medicines, etc. To this degree the problem is not the shoplifting. Imagine if the US had UBI you know so people didn't have to worry about being able to afford basic necessities and or resort to theft. Especially when the true crooks. Massive retailers like Target sell basic necessities for a premium. People who actually go to that Target said the article is lying and it's not the entire store that is locked up like that. A word of advice. Never take anything from the NY Post at face value. Maybe they should address the large-scale theft by San Francisco landlords and employers. I bet that would bring shoplifting way down. I love that they blame it on the weak laws and not the crippling poverty. Late. Stage. Capitalism. If I ever walked into a store like that I'd just walk out. I hate when I need someone to unlock the cage for a single item. I'd lose my mind if it was on repeat. Steal more from corporations. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.